Yo, 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 it's your boy E Double back with another video. Um, just got a package today. Um, as you can tell by the video description, um, I got my new Neumann. I think it's pronounced Neumann. I think some people say Neumann. But anyway, my new Neumann TL103 mic. Um, I just bought the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X. Um, and then I bought the shock mount for the um, for the Neumann uh, microphone. So uh, I'm about to go ahead and unbox that. Uh, we're going to get right into it. All right, so here we go. Here's the package. Um, I had already broke it open, but I literally just took delivery. Um, I ordered these from Sweetwater. Um, I never shopped with them before, but when I was researching mics and um, different interfaces to get, uh, everybody kept talking about Sweetwater and how good the customer service is. But uh, long story short, I first placed the order. It was like a bundle pack. It had the uh, the Neumann TL, uh, TLM-103, and then it came with the Universal Audio Apollo. Um, it was like the MK2, I believe. And then it came with like a mic stand, some headphones. Um, it was a pretty good deal. But then uh, I realized that that uh, interface was actually like the older version and I wanted to get the the newer um, the uh, Apollo X so uh, so yeah so the reason I did this is I had to hurry up and break open the box with the tracking number to make sure that this was the right box and I sent the other ones back so I didn't have to pay for shipping but yeah uh, I haven't opened anything else though so here we go I did take the candy out the box though. Let me grab that. Sweetwater always come with some candy, which again, I learned through the video. So I did take that out the box and pop that open. But let's go, baby. So this is the, this is the big deal right here. The uh, Neumann TLM 103. Um, I did go with the, uh, the black version. And then this is the shock mount. Set that over here. Um, and then this is the second big deal right here, the Apollo. Really pro well, I'm saying they equally important, honestly. But yeah, here goes the Apollo uh, Twin X uh, Thunderbolt 3. Now I do have a PC, PC that I bought if you watch my previous videos. Uh, you know all about it it's actually right right there but uh i hear a lot of mixed reviews um universal audio obviously optimizes for mac um, but they advertise that it also works with windows so we're gonna see we're gonna see and then uh, i didn't actually order this but um the universal audio um interface doesn't come with a uh, thunderbolt cable so they sent this for free actually I bought one off of Amazon, but I think I'm going to rock with this one and probably return the one to Amazon. But yeah, so now that we got all that out the way, um, let's go ahead and open up some of these boxes. Um, I'm, I'm going to say the best for last, right? Let me uh, let me set up this mic so it'll be easier for me to open these, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, cool. So uh, I'm in my, my home studio. I need to get like a little table or something here that makes these easier. I got my desk with my computer on it, but I got like a bunch of stuff on there right now. So we just gonna work with what we got. I got like a little couch in here. Here we go. But like I said, man, we gonna we gonna stay the best for last. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this uh, this shock mount. I already had a shock mount for my other mic. I had like a Bluebird, but uh, apparently these uh, Neumann made a special shock mount for these. Um, you know, a way for them to get some more money. Um, and again, I bought the the uh, black shock mount to match the mic, so it looks nice. Um, it's a shock mount, right? It ain't like it's nothing super special. This does look nicer than the one that came with my Bluebird, though. I will say that. So yeah, we got a shock mount. Um, I ain't even gonna open this. It's a Thunderbolt cable. Ain't nothing special about that. All right, let's get to the interface. And now this is the heritage edition, heritage edition um, of the um, Universal Audio interface. Um, I did a lot of researching before I ordered this because I didn't know what the hell the um, heritage edition was. But essentially, uh, 
from what I gathered, the universal audio interfaces were, they had like some supply restraints, which I'm assuming was due to um, COVID. So what they did is they um, bundled a lot of plugins, which is a good value if you use their plugins, which they're known for their plugins. Uh, they bundled a lot of their uh, plugins with the interface and they kind of like raised the price a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's 100% factual, but from what I gathered, that's what the situation was. Um, so yeah, so this is the heritage edition, the heritage edition. All that means is it's, it costs a little more and it has like some more bundled plugins than, than the regular edition. And, uh, I don't got my uh, box cutter, so I'm gonna cut right quick, grab that, be right back with y'all. All right. So I'm back. Um, got my box cutter. This is my favorite box cutter too, by the way. It ain't nothing special. Just a little craftsman, but I like how it falls down, but all right, cool. Let's just go and get this thing open. time um i watched the unboxing everybody always talked about like how nice it was and like the build quality um and yeah it's really that it's super nice so you got all your inputs on the back um optical land thunderbolt 3 uh your line inputs your mic inputs uh your power i probably should show you all that you got your optical land your Thunderbolt 3, your line inputs, your mic inputs, power, uh, power button, and then you got your microphone um, and guitar. I don't know what the proper uh, port for this is called for the guitar. I don't use that. But um, yeah, and then you got your one knob that is famous for and then all your uh, your buttons for your, for the for the different functions. So yeah, there we go. That's the Apollo Twin X. Super excited to get this going. Um, once I get it set up and uh, review it, I, I'll give you a review on that. So there's that. And that is the big boy. It's the one I'm most excited about. It's an expensive mic. I went on one of these a long time ago. Couldn't afford it at that time. Um, but now I can. So. I got that boy. Boom. It's small. Um, it's not as small as like some people were acting like in the in the reviews I seen, but it's nice and it definitely got some heft to it. And then this is the um, I guess attachment that it comes with, but I won't be using this because I got that shock mount. So yeah, and this box is nice, man. Flip that around. Come with the wooden box. I don't really travel with my um, equipment. This is from my home studio. So I'll probably have this up in my closet somewhere. Um, just like the uh, the Bluebird came with like a nice wooden box that the top kind of slid off, which I still had that and it's just up in my closet. Um, so I'll be putting that back in there and probably selling it. But yeah, there we go, man. Um, that pretty much wraps my unboxing of the uh, Apollo Twin X, the uh, Neumann TLM 103, and then the uh, shot mount. So uh appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, I know a lot of people, this TLM uh, 103 has been around for a while. It is not a new mic, but um, it is highly regarded. Um, and then obviously Neumann um, is kind of like an industry standard when it comes to mics. I know there's tons of mics out there and you don't need to spend nowhere near this amount of money to, to, to get a good sound. But uh, I've been doing music for, for quite a while and uh, I've been wanting to upgrade my quality. And like the Blue Bar served its purpose, um, but you know, it's time for me to, time for me to get something else and uh kind of step up that sound and um i've heard this mic i've seen this mic and uh i just think it was the way to go for me so uh and then again the um apollo twin x upgrading your sound is more than just buying a new mic right 
Um, I really could have just got a new interface. I could have got this Apollo Twin by itself and it probably would have made my mic sound a lot better. I currently have a Apollo, or not Apollo, I have a Scarlet. I think I have a 6i6, which is overkill for what the hell I was doing. I really only needed uh, like a 2i2 or something like that. Um, but this is this is a lot um, higher quality uh, interface. Um, I'm not an engineer. I really just record myself and then send my recordings to my engineer. And then he does all the mixing and mastering. So uh, really, he's the one who recommended uh, the Universal Audio interface. And uh, I was I was torn between this interface and the um, the Apple G Symphony desktop. The and there's a slight chance I still may get the Apple G over this one, just because uh, Apple G has a lot better native support for Windows than Universal Audio does. Um, but it seems like all the people who had issues with universal audio um do a lot more with like podcasting and and um needing to have uh, mic inputs to to other applications that i actually don't use so i will primarily be using this for listening to audio and then recording into my DAW, right which is pro tools so i don't think i'll have any issues but uh, we'll see but again appreciate y'all uh, tuning in man if you like the video please hit the like button um, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I got a whole lot of content going coming up, man. Um, you know, everything from tech to cars uh, to music to credit, man. You know what I mean? Just a, just a plethora of, of, of good information and good videos, man. So, uh, yeah, it's your boy E-Double. Um, shout out to Team Double Up for everybody who came back to rock with your boy. And uh, holla at y'all in a minute. Deuces.